So you said right now, so you're kind of transitioning to a new model, a hybrid model. So you're yep. still going to be kind of like mentoring and coaching um, your former team members and probably sure. some other agents, Yep, and right? Be able to team with Kenny. I can help his team yep. with a lot of that stuff. Um, he and I work together now on kind of agent attraction models and ability yep. to just kind of show what value we have out there. Obviously his um, volume and the number of transactions running a system like yeah. that is so much easier for me to dial into from an, a recruiting or agent um, attraction. We want to yeah. call it that. So I found some value there, but honestly, man, it was just about making me happy again. And uh, I the think that's the most important. Years, yeah. Um, just, yeah. It, yeah. We talked at BrokerCon, like I had, I was finding myself. Mm -hmm. That was the big thing I needed. And it's taken a year and a half to make this decision to figure this out. Literally as of this morning. Yeah. I mean, probably one of the most important questions you want to ask yourself is like, what is actually that I want? Right. 100%. Right. And it takes time. And in your situation almost took two years probably. to like find out like, okay, this is exactly what I want. Correct. Right. And, and now it's like, you know, it's like, all right, how do I go about it? How do I get it? Right. Yeah. That's the second question. So, so now you know what you're doing, right? You said, Hey, I'm still I want to be in production. I enjoy going out there and working with the sellers. I enjoy working with the buyers, but not necessarily showing homes because sure. you got the showing agents or showing assistants that are going out there and doing that. And you told me before we started this podcast, like it's it's a very profitable model. So how do you go about that? Well, back in the heyday, right? You'd have um, agents. You're giving away fifty percent of the commission, all the lead gens. So we always had a ten off the top, fifty fifty type yeah. split, which yeah. is the true way you really have to do it if yeah. you want to see profitability. Yeah. It's just harder to recruit to that with so many, you know, smaller better models out there mm -hmm. for agents, right? Mm -hmm. And as the market shifted with less transactions, I'm spending the same amount, let alone my sanity, to try to keep them going that it just didn't make sense. On top so of you're, that- So were you buying leads? Oh yeah, yeah. What, We've always what were you buying? Pay-per-click. Pay -per -click? Um, yep. Is it Google or, or Facebook? So mostly Google. I found we did shift a little back to Facebook end of last year. We ended up having a better return on it. Oddly enough, um, Got it. I was a uh, with the Blaster, an investor in Sync, so we were the original yeah. seventh side ever. Yeah. Just about getting rid of that next month, actually, and transitioning. But um, that said. It's not as profitable to pay for everything. Try to focus on getting those agents to really up and running. And in a model like that, you're always stuck kind of that newer agent, right? Which really wasn't the vision I had with RNG. I wanted it more of a place that an established agent could come into, leverage systems, leverage the support, yeah. and then just go sell themselves and double their business. Yeah. And that's really where I found passion. So. Um, I've explored um, with some friends of ours um, through through the community here of just showing agents and yeah. kind of got that idea. And, and really, that's been the game changer for me. I don't have to go open doors every Saturday, right? I still do to an extent. And I enjoy, you know, some agents or some clients of mine, excuse me. But I have a few like perfect, preferred agents across the valley that I can send it to. They'll yeah. open it up. Um, I'm paying, you know, per door, if you want to call it that. Yeah. And not giving away 50% of the commission. Interesting. On top of that, we always did done for you. So I was doing offer paperwork sometimes at nights. We had systems in place where we made everything so easy on our agents that I think that also drove us insane, um, thinking, all right, if we take that off their plate, that gives them more freedom to go do on more appointments, more yeah, prospecting. More business. Yep, yep. We know that always works. It's nope. a, a F off a little more yeah, over there and yeah, then, uh, you know, yeah. struggle later. So yeah. we are so systemized. Becky, my partner, is an incredible admin yeah. and, and actual operations standpoint that we decided that we don't really need a team and all those headaches. We can run this with her and I, and then just some showing agents to help me. I do have one agent that I'm going to kind of mentor to be more of my uh, listing assistant, if you will. So she'll come out and kind of take the secondary appointments. She'll stay after, do the video walkthroughs and things, and then send that to Becky and our, yeah. our VA team to be able to do it. And then I'll just rinse and repeat kind of yeah. that. So I don't know. Until I get burnt out in production, I guess we'll see how this goes. But I'm, I've am i been enjoying, man. It's been a refreshing change, I guess, for me. So I'm fascinated about that model. Um, I use that model to a degree when I, just before I kind of like launched my team, if you will, I okay. had showing assistants. I had four showing assistants yep. during that time. I was paying anywhere between $25 to $35 per yep. door. But I want to know exactly what you're doing. What does the so, process look like? And first of all, like identifying them, mm -hmm. uh, then, you know, paying them out. Right? Are they doing showings or are they doing more than just showings? Good question. So it started using Showami actually, which was yeah. that app. Mm -hmm. um, it got a little pricey because it used to get around around 20 to 30, right? Now I'm finding it's, you gotta be around that 50 or more to get somebody to really step up. Granted, as the market shifted, we're seeing- That's $50 more. per door. Correct, per door. Interesting. Um, but what I was able to do early on, 
is find some dedicated folks. So I've like, for instance, I'm on Mesa. I have yeah. someone in Buckeye that I always go to yeah. uh, North Valley and Anthem. I've got yeah. somebody there. So now I can just ship out to them. Hey, I've got these folks coming. Now, obviously with the changes and everyone being on buyer brokers now, it, it's super easy. Luckily my mentor Lester and you know, from Craig Brock, yeah. like, I've known nothing else but that. So I've always had retainer fees collected. I've had uh, buyer brokers signed. It was easy for me to let somebody go do the door opening because I wasn't worried that I was going to get the the client sniped from me. So it's really now just a managing of expectations. So what I've found is if I can have a Zoom consultation with the buyer client or have them come by my office, I let them know that, hey, we're a team here. I work with agents around the valley that'll get them in within an hour if they need. If I'm tied up on an appointment and can't get there, I don't want them to miss out on the home that's perfect for them, right? Yeah. Remember a few years back yeah. where you had to be yeah. there in an yeah. hour? Yeah, exactly. Um, and these folks see more homes than I do anyways, so they're going to be more knowledgeable about you know the, the details of it. When they tell them that they kind of like it, the agent will do a video tour for me, so I get to see it. And then I sit down with a strategy session, and that's really where we get to, to figure out where we're going to make the offer and kind of you know, kind of structure it for the needs of the clients. So it's just a management, like I always get the, the agents come to me like, how do you, what's being said? Well, how do you not get them to want to go work with there or not get the service? And it all comes down to that first consultation. Yeah. Setting those expectations. And also following up after, right? How'd you go with John or whatever it is? Um, You know, what'd you guys think of that one? Is there anything we can adjust? So I am engaged in that avenue of it, but it's such a time savings, especially for weekends that I can go, you know, make more calls and whatnot. And I still hit the phones. I still enjoy, oddly enough, that side of it, but I'd rather sit in air conditioning doing that. Oh, 100%. You know, opening doors at 120 and the West Side of town. Yeah. I mean, I remember my third year uh, in real estate, like I was doing most of the listings, right? In the third year, I started buying PPC leads. Ah, nice. And the first four or five months, I hated it. But Mm -hmm. then finally, I started seeing the results, right? Yep. But then I hated it again because I was driving around town oh, and the valley I'm talking about and just showing homes. It's like, dude, this is just such a waste yeah. of my time going all the way to AJ mm-hmm. for like $150,000 house. Oh, I remember those days too. Right? So. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so so I love that model. So so like, let's say for instance, you have a, a buyer that wants to see like multiple homes, mm-hmm. two, three, four homes at the same time, yep. the same day. So you just pay like 40, 50 bucks per, per house yeah. or you negotiate something that is... so. I kind of try to treat it as hourly, right? They're independent contractors, they're not W-2, so I gotta be careful, obviously, how it's structured. But I have the agent set up all the aligned showings or showing time on it. Um, so I, Becky's doing that, right? So Becky can help me, but it's usually my showing agent, because I've worked now with these folks where I have enough trust. I just say, hey, uh, the Smiths are wanting to see some properties. Will you even reach out or I text them over the, what I was sent? Mm. I still have access to our portals or we use, you know, sync right sure, now for yeah, what yeah. they're looking for. Yeah. So I'll give them, here's what they're looking to see. Um, they're available in this time and I'll even let them coordinate with my clients. So yeah. I kind of give that warm intro and that's the key. Make sure the client feels service. Yeah. Um, they set up the, the line show in, which oddly enough takes a lot of time nowadays, yeah. Yeah. if it is multiple homes. Yeah. Um, they'll even run the comps for me in a pinch when I need help to kind of get a, a game plan of like, Here's a price per square foot in the area. Here's kind of what they're going for. Cause they always ask that when you're around. Yeah, yeah. But really when they come back, they'll text me over and, and send me the video. If they're like, yeah, the Smiths really love this one. Um, so I then reach out to the listing agent. I do everything from that point on. Cause I think that's really my specialty is why they hired me is the negotiations. Right. And I feel yeah. like I have to have that communication with the agent and we start off on a good foot, especially when I'm going to be delivering an offer later potentially. 